What's up, everyone? Thank you so much for checking out this video here on Show Style and Spirit. I am Ebony, of course. As you can see from the title of this video, I uh, will be discussing Carlos King speaking in regards to criticisms that his reality TV shows show very toxic men, toxic black men, toxic romantic relationships. So I actually have a few sound bites that I want to share with you all and give commentary on. Before we dig in, I do ask that you please hit the like button on this video. It will cause YouTube to push this video out into its algorithm, meaning that it will recommend this video to more people who have never even heard of my channel. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit. I would love to have you, and I would want you to turn on those notifications after you subscribe so that you know when I drop a new video or go live. So with that being said, let's dig right on in. Now, you may not recognize this man because I know a lot of y'all don't F with Carlos King spinoffs, but this is Anthony Thompson. He is from Love and Marriage Detroit. He has founded a production company. He's married to Dr. LaToya Thompson, and she is a doctor of physical therapy. They met at Michigan State, and they have been married for 14 years. So um, Anthony is considered to be a toxic man, and uh, he will love to argue with women. If you watch the show, then you have seen that. It's kind of unclear what he does. In episode one, he said that he owns a production company. I'm guessing it's production. He said, and we do tours. I have no idea what that means. If you are a tour manager, if you book venues, if you promote tours, he did leave his family for seven months to go to Atlanta to allegedly work for Marvel and Disney. He actually explained during this interview that he went down to Atlanta for work after here in Michigan, we had a former Democratic governor, Jennifer Granholm. She brought the movie industry here via tax credits. And then once we got a Republican governor, those uh, tax credits to movie production companies went away. So then the movies like Transformers, Batman versus Superman and others, they stopped filming here. Even Whitney Houston, when she did the remake of Sparkle, that was filmed here in Detroit as well. But anyway, so that was him explaining him trying to get work by going to Atlanta, leaving his uh, family for seven months. And he even said that her family was inserting themselves and making comments. And then he brought his behind on back to Detroit. In my opinion, allegedly, I think that he thought, well, I don't need to miss out on the doctor money. Her income is the most stable. Let me get my butt back on home to Detroit before she files for a divorce, allegedly, and in my opinion. But um, I do have a few sound bites that I want to share with you all. Anthony, who's just in season one of Love and Marriage Detroit, doesn't even know yet if there will be a season two. He actually had the nerve to shade the production of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Ah, so you you were okay. So you were introduced to the show at its height. Yeah, and y'all came a long way. I seen the production for season one. To compare it to where y'all end up, what? what? Ah! <laughs> with no money, you took it to you. You took it all the way up. You a wild boy, Anthony. Oh, you you gotta know how hard this is. What you do? They really need to put some respect on your name for real. I appreciate that, no, my brother. I appreciate that. Listen, it's a so I thought that that was very disrespectful and uncalled for. I don't think there was anything wrong with the production of season one of Love and Mary Chunsville. It looked like any normal reality TV show, and I felt like it was fine. I never even had a thought, even watching the subsequent seasons, I've never thought to myself, oh, this looks so much better than season one. I think that Anthony from Love and Marriage Detroit, I think that he thought by shading Love and Marriage Huntsville's production season one, he thought that he was somehow shading the cast or the fans of Love and Marriage Huntsville who refused to watch Love and Marriage Detroit. I think he thought that he was somehow getting to the fans and the melometers. 
And Anthony, that was just very immature on your part because actually for you to shade season one production, you're actually shading Carlos King and Kingdom Reign Entertainment. All right. You all let me know in the comments what you all thought about that. So then Carlos, this is leading up to him speaking on, you know, like um, people saying OWN stands for the Oppressed Women Network. Shout out to Bondi Blue. And all of us saying how, you know, he shows very disrespectful men, disrespectful black men on his TV shows. I also feel like it is a joint partnership in crime. It is not just Carlos King, but it's also these men. They have that chauvinism mentality and it's also in their heart so he can't they can't give carlos king this negative footage to edit and show us unless they actually choose to present themselves this way so when carlos king asked anthony how do you feel about people who watch love and marriage detroit calling you toxic anthony actually feels like the negative show of men is what's real. So throw those narratives in your direction. It's bull crap. That's people being fake. Because let's be real. If these cameras went home with everybody, see, I talk to, I'm on a lot of boards, and I talk to a lot of people. It's so many men I know right now that are unhappy and married and do stuff at home, and they all be on social media smiling, taking pictures, and acting like they happy for people loving me, and that ain't the truth. There's a lot of people that's went through what me and Dr. Thompson went through, and their careers not where they want. Think about what's the number one reason to get divorced. Money, career. It ain't even necessary. It's money and career. And then we in a heightened you know, part of life now. Our generation deals with it. They try to keep up with social media. They want to be like a celebrity. Everybody wants their man to have a big house, make $2 million, uh, take care of the kids so that they can, you know, whatever. So let's be real. Like, they can say what they want to say, but y'all watch it because y'all know y'all can it. So he actually feels like when there are healthy men out there who are spending time with their families, spending time with their kids, enjoying it, documenting those moments via photos and posting on social media, that they're being fake. And then Anthony insinuated that the real is men confiding that they are unhappy in their relationships. Now, this is my commentary, my opinion on that. Not every single happy looking couple is faking. There are some healthy marriages out there where the people are satisfied. And then, yes, some couples are unhappy. But you cannot say that for those who outwardly express that they are miserable in their marriages, that they are the only ones being real. And the people who are showcasing their family and saying, I love you and showing that public display of affection that they're automatically being fake. I think that that is just a defense mechanism and cap, Anthony, because you don't know what else to say to people calling you disrespectful. So that was really like a pretty lazy read, a pretty lazy argument. But that sound bite is leading up to Carlos King actually speaking to his critics about his content, his reality TV shows being always toxic. And this is what he feels like um, is the deal with us viewers. The number one reason people get divorced is money. It has nothing to do with cheating because this is what is so interesting and nobody... Let's have a real conversation. Nobody wants to wants to have a real conversation. If I created a show and it was about everybody being happy, go lucky, life is good, rainbows and skittles, and we have picnics, we have picnics on Saturdays, and that's that. Y'all will call my show boring and, and not watch it, and it'll get canceled, right? I don't. The thing is this: everybody's relationship is different. Everybody, man, female, or they, everybody has a toxic moment, a moment that they're not proud of. Um, um, every relationship goes through its ups and downs. You're watching the show because at the end of the day, you can relate to it. A lot of people do say when it comes to Love and Marriage Detroit specifically, they feel like the men carry the show. Do you agree with that? Hey, it is what it is. Like, we be, I'm going to say this. Y'all have to be real. Anyway, like, we be real. Like, so Carlos King feels like if he just showed positivity that the viewers would say that his shows are boring and we would not watch. And then obviously that would stop his bag, right? Because if people didn't watch his shows, then um, they would get canceled. But Carlos, that's not totally true. 
because season six, the first half, we did not see a lot of major, intense, disrespectful drama the first half of Love and Marriage Huntsville season six. We saw the core six coming together and planning the Black Expo and talking about different ideas to putting on an event to teach people business practices. We saw that. We also saw Stormy and her struggles with her workers at the warehouse. We saw all of the success from um, Melody's businesses. We saw a variety of different aspects to the business world. And we were all reviewing it as bloggers. And for those of us who still watch and are not blacking out the show, we've been supportive. So your own show, your number one show on own, Love and Marriage Huntsville, totally negates what you just said in that soundbite. Also, Carlos, because you let... Tisha and Marceau fake their storylines. You let Stormy not talk about her lawsuits and all of her business troubles. You let uh, Marceau and Letitia not talk about any alleged affairs and not talk about their alleged lawsuits. You cover for them. You only let the scandalous, embarrassing, humiliating, hurtful stories come from Melody's personal life. So you actually do show people just living like this, you know, cookie cutter, daisies and flowers life with the cast members who are faking it. So your comment, you speaking to the critics and us viewers saying that we wouldn't watch if you show just healthy, emotionally balanced Black families, that's all crap because the way you pick your favorites and cape for them, you let them show very clean, very drama-free lives. And then the scandal part, you just make Melody go through the mud over and over again. So you all let me know what you think about these sound bites. If you care to watch this interview in its entirety, of course, it's on Carlos King's YouTube page. Please, again, I ask that you hit the like button on this video. And please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit if you have not already done so. I hope you all are doing great, and I will talk with you soon. Bye-bye.